Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Paras Serka. Please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2024. Now let's have Mr. Santiago once again tell us his important announcement. Good morning, Patriots. It's that time of the year again. The holiday show is coming up, which means auditions are coming up. Auditions for the holiday show are this week on Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday will be the elementary audition. Thursday will be the middle school audition. Now we'll be auditioning for both acting and dancing. So if you're interested in either one of those two, come and audition. Once again, the holiday show auditions for elementary will be Wednesday and the middle school will be Thursday. Hope to see you there. Thank you, Mr. Santiago. Keep that in mind, Patriots. Now let's go to Kayla for Today in History. Thank you, Adasa. What's up, Patriots? Today on History, October 23rd, 1850, the first National Women's Right Convention began. More than 1,000 people from 11 states arrived for a two-day conference. This conference was planned by the Anti-Slavery Society members. Lucy Stone was the, one of the main speakers that argued for the rights of the women. Her exact words were, We want that women should attend the development of their nature and womanhood. We want that when she dies and may not be written on her gear stone, that she was a widow to somebody. Her speech and convention were recorded and shown to the world after this event, helping the movement gain international recognition. Now let's go to Captain for today's lunch. Thank you, Kayla. Today's lunch is fresh human meat sauce, seasoned breadstick, vegetarian hummus wrap, steamed corn, fresh broccoli, garnished salad, ranch dressing, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is apple fruitle, lucky charms, graham crackers, fresh apple, and 100% orange juice. Students, please let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's head back to the Dasla. Thank you, Catherine. That sounds divine. Today's lucky grades going to the Patriot Store are 5th through 6th, and tomorrow's grades will be 7th through 8th. Keep saving your money because these new things are worth it. Welcome back, Patriots. The long wait is finally over. The Kickboard Store is up and running once again. If you plan to come to the Kickboard Store, make your teacher write down the amount of Kickboard points you have along with your first and last name. But of course, you have the option to do it yourself. Then wait in line for someone to help you. For those of you that don't know where it is, head on down to Miss School Computer Lab. Please make sure to stay quiet. Order for our RBTV member hey, to welcome. assist you. How many points do you have? Uh, 90. Okay, come on. Once you get some assistance, an RBTV member will tell you your budget and you can pick from a wide selection of items. Okay, so you can get from 10 all the way to 75. What would you like to get? The pizza? When you pick your item, go on the black carpet like so, and Mr. Santiago will ring you up. Now you're ready to go. Easy peasy. Isabella Rodriguez. Thank you. You're welcome. And remember, Patriots, the store closes from 7.15 to 7.55. Remember, Patriots, go plus ultra. Patriots, make sure to spit out any gum before entering the building. And phones, make sure they're off and in your bags at all times. Also, wear only a school jacket or a sweater. Tomorrow is finally the Patriot of the Month ceremony. As you know, all previous canceled ceremonies will now take place tomorrow. Make sure to look your best. Did you know our Boo Grams come in three bundles? No? Well, let me tell you what they contain. The first one is a stuffed toy with a bracelet and twist pop for the price of $7. The second one is a bracelet, twist pop, and a pencil for the price of $4. And the last bundle is a twist pop and pencil for $2. If you'd like to get one, make sure to submit the money to your teachers in order to receive it. Today is another wonderful day for the book fair. Teachers, make sure to check the schedule to see when your class is going. This Saturday is the Fall Festival. Make sure to have your tickets in order to get in. So there will be games, prizes, raffles, and our famous haunted hallway. The timing will be from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. What scary or cute character will you be? The payment for the barnyard dance is due tomorrow. And remember, the dance is only K through fifth grade. The dance will be on Friday, and make sure to have a nice outfit that fits the theme. Now let's view the weather charts with Camilo. Thank you, Hirasa. How's it going, Patriots? Today's weather.
In other weather news, waves caused a flash flood in the streets of France. In the French city of St. Malau, waves from storms quickly flooded streets, causing damage and even knocking people over. The storm called Storm Ashley also affected Ireland and parts of the UK. When water from storms quickly fills a large area, it is also known as flash flood. These floods tend to be dangerous because they can occur suddenly. Whoa, I hope everyone got to safety. Now switch our pictures, happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camila. Today's birthday boys and girls are Sky Gale, Kimberly Graciano Figueroa, and Anaya Bryan. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Harasa. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are Pat's expectations. I represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Blanc, Mr. D, and Ms. Nelson for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what is the most common species of bird found in the world? The correct answer was domestic chickens and house sparrows. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. How many strings does a guitar have? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone on RPTV like to wish you all a Werewolf Wednesday. Have a creepy day!